What is up, Burger Boys and Gals? We are at Fretboard Brewing Company right now, but I am talking with the mobile but ever delicious Bullard's Barbecue owners, Jimmy and Don. Uh, why don't you guys uh, let the people know, let me know really, you know, who you are, what, what really got your start? So I got my start in cooking period when I was eight years old. I started going back to Oregon, Illinois, where my dad was from. And uh, from that age, I picked up guitar. My grandfather played in many, many different bands, so I picked up guitar really easy. Um, and of course, being a little kid and hyper and wanting to run around and do everything and get into everything, my grandma said, boy, come here. And she'd put <laughs> a, a chair up to the stove and this is what we're gonna do. And then when she went to work, she had a friend named Edie. And uh, so Edie was in a wheelchair and she had spina bifida. So when my grandma would go to work, I'd go over there. And of course, pew, I was all <laughs> over the place. And Edie said, boy, come here. So, and Edie taught, <laughs> Edie taught me how to bake. So with my grandma, I was learning, you know, how to do meatloaf and mashed potatoes and green beans. And with her friend Edie, I was learning how to do pies and three tier cakes and, and all kinds Jeez. of stuff, which is really cool because five years ago, we both ended up at the same company. And somebody goes, man, you do barbecue. There's a chick here that bakes. And I'm like, no way. So she would take and she'd be like, she came around the corner the first time. I'm like, hey, and she's like, hi. <laughs> and uh, so I was like, hey, I hear you bake. And she goes, yeah, and I'm like, oh, I do barbecue and, and stuff. I'm like, and from that point, like when we first focused, just a, a total friends, we both said, we should do like a, a barbecue bakery and like put them together. Cause who doesn't want to have sweets before and after? Oh and, yeah. And everybody goes, sweets before and after? I'm like, right, just in case you can't finish your meal, you want the sweets before and after. So you have desserts on both sides of the plate and then you just take your plate home. Oh, 100%. I mean, especially when you're an adult and you can make your own decisions about eating dessert before. Absolutely. Grabbing some ice cream before I eat dinner because I can. Uh, I love that you guys just kind of push that on them like before and after. Is that your slogan, Bullwood's Barbecue Sweets Before and After? Oh, no. I think you need to slide <laughs> that in, some marketing promo materials, because I love it. So one of our really good friends, Tyrone, uh, Tyrone says, you got soul and you're super bad. <laughs> that, that's his, his whole thing. He's like, man, he's like, you do barbecue the way it should be done, and he said, there's nobody around that does what you're doing and how you do it. He said, I haven't had any barbecue like that. And so then I explained to him that um, in the early 1800s that John Bullard was in Texas. And after the Civil War, he formed a barbecue joint because back then um, there's no way to keep meat without refrigeration. He opened a post office and he opened a grocery store. When he passed away, um, from my recollection, I believe it was the middle 20s, they renamed the town after him. Mm -hmm. And my aunt doing genealogy all of our life found out. And we had no idea there was a Bullard, Texas. Never heard of it. And so when we first started, we was gonna call this Bash and Barbecue. And everybody's like, cool. And then my aunt's like, hey, do you know there's a Bullard, Texas? And so when I really got into barbecue, I'm like, well, you know, everybody that's serious about barbecue, they always have the last name. It's this barbecue, that barbecue. And it's not, you know, um, like the chain stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. So well, have, you, have you guys ever been to Bullard, Texas? Not yet. We have not been. That is awesome. And <laughs> it's like we're so that. there's people at work that like, you need to find out when there's a festival there and go set up Bullard's Barbecue in Bullard, Texas, like once a year. It's like, that will absolutely floor them. Jim, I'll tell you what, you are an encapsulate, you, you are an enthusiastic individual all about this story, while Don on the other hand is just like, <laughs> yeah, you tell your story here. So like, the yinning, ding 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 the yang right there. So like, what about, what about you, Don? What got you into like baking and stuff? Kids, um, kids, yeah, love it, love have, it. Um, we have a big family. Um, our family's very close.
close and we have always baked everything ourselves. We don't, we live in the country, we're very simple and Love it, it love it. I mean, way it goes. <laughs> See, like, and that's, that's where people don't get it. Um, so different parts of the country is where barbecue comes from. Ohio is not one of them. Um, Kansas City is where you get your sweet barbecue. That's where everybody's used to the red barbecue sauce, the sweet. Yeah. Um, if you go up to Memphis, it's sweet, and then it's got a little kick in the back, so it's got a little bit of heat. Um, North Carolina actually has two distinctive areas of barbecue. They have an east and a west, like, mm. yeah. <laughs> um, South Carolina is known for their mustard barbecue sauce. You, 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 you've encapsul encapsulated yourself in the barbecue world. I can, I can tell it. Like, I didn't know all this other stuff about barbecue. And if you go down to Alabama, Alabama has a white barbecue sauce. Um, so their, their barbecue, and it's mostly put on chicken after they smoke the chicken. Um, what they'll do is put the chicken on the smoker, and then halfway through, they'll actually dip it in oil and put it back on the smoker so the oil will cover it. And instead of brining beforehand, they'll put it in the oil. So even with the low and slow temperatures of 250 to 275, it will crisp up the skin on the outside, but it encapsulates, encas yeah, encapsulates all of the juices so it doesn't dry out. Jeez. And you talk about him being so enthusiastic. He's not just enthusiastic with his words, but he promotes how how much he loves. Well, that's what I can barbecue. see. And that's what I can see in like some some people I've talked to in the in the the restaurant world. You know, they say, "Oh yeah, we just opened this." You know, a few few years ago, and they're not as like enthusiastic about it. And I can tell just by you know your passion about the barbecue. I'm sure you take a lot of care and a lot of sciences that go into you know, the actual making of it. Well, see, and that's it. A lot of people don't realize that barbecue is a craft. It takes a long time to cook, and it takes a long time to perfect, especially if you want it good. Most of the people that get into a restaurant, period, mm -hmm. What they want to do is they have this idea that I can go sell this food and I'm going to make a ton of money. So when we went from the backyard to everybody saying, this is phenomenal, you need to go do this. The first thing we said is, we're not doing this for the money. Number one, we're doing this because we absolutely love barbecue. It is definitely in our blood. Um, so, so we're talking about barbecue a lot and I love me some barbecue. Uh, and when you saw this opportunity from fretboard about the, the, the burger throwdown, the first annual burger throwdown, you know, did, have you, did you cook a lot of burgers in the past as part of your barbecue menu or are you, are you doing something special just for this? So, uh, let's see, we started this year with primarily chopped brisket and pulled pork sandwiches. So, and when we got into it, we said, well, we're not gonna do like everybody else does. So we actually have a local food provider that we, we purchased from. And- What uh, food provider, just to- It, it is- uh, Oh no. Premier Food Service. Premier Food Service, gotcha. So, and so we actually have Duroc pork and then, um, it, it's Angus beef, and I can't remember. Mm -hmm. Black. Bla can't, black Angus? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a Black Angus, but gotcha. I can't remember the actual company. So, and Brave we, Heart. yeah, it's, yeah, I'm sorry. It's called Braveheart. There we go. You got all the storytelling. She's got all the data and the, 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 right. the people behind. It's a per perfect duo. Yeah, so, so <laughs> Duroc pork, um, Berkshire pork, Chester White pork. It's a heritage pork. Mm -hmm. So, they're out in a field all the time. They're never caged. They're not ever given antibiotics, steroids, no, no uh, hormones, no, and the same with the brisket. 100%. Um, so um, with the, the cattle, not the brisket. So, but 
we decided if we're going to get into this, number one, we want high quality. Everybody else is like, I'll go to Walmart, I'll go to GFS. Mm -hmm. Not that there's anything wrong with those places. Right. Um, we've had food, excuse me, from places where people bought that and it's fine. It was just our, our recollection that we want to serve the best. We want to have a clean conscience. So there's no chemicals in the food whatsoever. So we know that feeding people, you're not going to get sick from it. I love it. I love it. Um, now the burgers, the burgers took us about two years and we only started cooking them this year and we actually have two burgers that we sell when we vend when we do pop-ups when we do fundraisers festivals we only do two the first one is is we actually take and we will take the brisket and we will grind it ourselves and it's a brisket burger yep um, so the seasoning that we put on the brisket is the seasoning that goes on burgers, it goes on steaks, anything beef, it goes on. Um, and so the, the seasoning that we're gonna do, it is a butcher grind black pepper, it is a restaurant grind black pepper, we make our own seasoning salt, we smoke the kosher salt that goes with it, and we toast the granulated garlic powder, and then we mix that all together to basically form that crust on the outside of the burger. We like cooking on a flat top and not a grill. We like that crust. Love and, it, love it. And so the other burger um, that we get, uh, we actually don't make that one. We actually get it for, from um, Certified Angus Beef Company. Love it. And it is actually two parts chuck, one part short rib, and one part brisket. So on that, on those two burgers, are the, one of those burgers gonna be the one that you're co competing with this Sunday or is it a completely different one? So the burger that we're competing with this Sunday is called the ballistic burger. Now, when we first tell people, they think ballistic, B-A-L-L. -L. They're thinking, Pow! they're thinking guns, ballistics. No, B-U-L-L. Ballistic. Ballistic. Love it. Love plans. So, I love puns. They're, they're one of my favorite things. Um, so one of the things that we have is we have a uh, bakery-made brioche bun. We do not buy our brioche buns from Walmart, GFS, or oh, yeah. any other place out mm -hmm. there. Um, but the burger that we have, it is the two parts chuck, one part short rib, one part brisket. Love it. And once it gets the crust on both sides, uh, it's like a waterfall of flavor when you bite into it. it. Sounds insane. And with as much excitement you're putting behind, you know, Bullard's, it has my, you know, it has piqued my interest for sure. Uh, it has me excited to give my blind taste test on Sunday. Um, and I'm gonna be looking for all these things and be like, all right, that's Bullard's, because it is a blind taste test. I don't want any like bias right. between, and so I'm glad I'm not seeing the burger, all that stuff. So as we wrap things up, can you tell the people, tell the burger boys and gals out there where they can find you, whether it's on the internet, mobily, wherever. So our website is www.bullardsbbq.com. That's got all of our catering and all that kind of stuff. Um, Facebook.com forward slash Bullard's BBQ, you can find us there. So anywhere that we're gonna set up, whether we're doing fundraisers, pop-ups, events, festivals, anything like that, past catering, uh, future catering, you can check us out there. Um, and right now we have about 60,000 people that just found out about us because um, a lady that runs a Butler County yard sale site she tried the burger that we're entering. She tried it and we got to talking. And so she noticed my fingers and the knuckles say barbecue. Barbecue, let me see this. Oh my gosh, that's insane. <laughs> so, and she had posted on this local Facebook page that she and her husband runs, which I was like flabbergasted when she said 60,000 people, but she put on there uh, tried Bullard's for the very first time tonight, have never seen them before. 
the very best barbecue and burgers we've ever tried in our life. And if you don't have this on your knuckles, we're not eating your barbecue. That is insane. <laughs> well, I love it. Bullard's Barbecue, if you don't find them on the internet or at one of their locate or at one of the spots they stop at, you can for sure find them at the Fretboard Burger Throwdown this Sunday from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Jim and Dawn. Thank you. Thank don't, you guys so much. But don't forget, this Friday, we're gonna be at Dogberry Brewery. This Friday, and hopefully if I get this out there by then. But Westchester Township. Friday, if, if it's out by Friday, Check them out, Dogberry Brewery, Westchester Township. See you guys.